Hey guys, it's Lisa, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna um, make an ornament, and um, I have a Christmas uh, party that I'm going to with my small group at church, and um, I need a couple of um, of ornaments for an ornament exchange. So I already have one, and uh, that I want to use and this is going to be my other one so you've seen me make these if you watched me long um, then you've seen me making the shadow box uh, ornaments from the Dollar Tree canvases so as you could see I glued two of them together uh, the backs together and then uh, I cut the um, canvas away from one side and because the staples are not there you don't have anything to hold that down in the front then I put a little bit of glue underneath it to hold that down and then that's the base for I've been making ornament. several things lately with these uh, churches from the Dollar Tree now this is not what they look like last year last year they were white and they had some of the glitter on the roof well this year the ones that I found are all glitter and obviously I don't want all glitter. So um, I, I took my, um, my pliers and just kind of cut the top off the steeple, which was the little hoop to hang it with because I didn't want that. And now, because I'm gonna put this in the shadow box ornament, and I know that it's gonna have some protruding out the front and that's okay because I know what I can do with that, but I don't want it sticking out very far. So I'm cutting this base away, and but but it, this is plastic, so I just scored it um, with my um, with my my utility knife, and now I'm taking the pliers and just kind of uh, bending that over, and it will break right off where I scored it. So that was very easy to remove. And once I get that removed. Uh, then obviously I want to do something about all this glitter. So I just take a little sanding block and inside a box and I'm just kind of sanding this away. Now I don't have to do this perfectly because I'm okay that this will have some texture on it. I'm going to be painting it. So if I leave a little glitter, then uh, it'll just have a little more texture, which is fine. Now, I wanted to apologize to you guys that I am terribly, terribly behind on my comments and I've just been trying to get all the um, all the videos that I can get out right now just because we're running out of time for Christmas. Uh, so I wanted to get all these ideas posted that I could uh, and because of that I just I've had more comments because I've I've had more videos and I've had less time so I'll I promise you that I will answer those but it's just taking me a while. So now I'm using uh, the color buttercream, and for those of you who ask, this is a chalk paint, and it is Dixie Belle, uh, and I use different different um, brands of products, but I just use Dixie Belle paint because I sell it, so I have all the colors on hand, but any chalk paint would do, and I, I just give this one coat of this because I'm okay that if it isn't full coverage because I'm okay with a little of this glitter coming through and I'm definitely okay with the rustic finish. So I just paint the whole church riff and all in this case in the color buttercream. And I'm not even going to worry with uh, with sealing this because it, you know it's just an ornament. It's going to be inside the shadow box. I don't think it's going to get any wear and tear and I'm okay that it has that chalky finish. And I'm not only putting a coat of paint on my church, but also on, uh, on my shadow box here. And I know that you see some seams here, but I'm gonna be hiding that. So I paint uh, the sides and, um, and the uh, outer edge and then the back in the color buttercream. Now I'm not gonna worry with painting um, the the very back inside because I'm going to be decoupaging or not decoupaging I'm going to be gluing something over the top of that so 
I'll just give this one coat and let it dry. And like I said, I'll go ahead and paint the back because, uh, and the sides, because I'm going to be hiding that crack there with some trim, but, um, it's going to be lace trim. So I wanted to make sure if there was anything showing through that, uh, that it wasn't that white. And, um, and then the whole, the trim that I'm using is not going to cover the whole edge. It's just going to cover to that crack. So I wanted to make sure that was painted. And I like to paint the back just to make sure it has a finished look. Now I'm going to be gluing an old music sheet to this. And it just happens to be the song Silent Night. And I wanted the title to be able to show. So I just cut the music to fit the inside. And then I cut out the title and separated the words so that I can put that, uh, the title Silent Night, um, inside and it would show. So I go ahead and, um, antique around the edges of the title and the music sheet, uh, before I glue that inside. And you can glue this with just regular school glue if you want, or you could even glue it with hot glue. Um, but you just want it, it, it want it to stay in place, but it's not, again, not going to get much wear and tear. So just something to kind of keep it in there. And like I said, I use the antique oxide ink and, um, and went around the edges of that and then around the edges of the title. And this, I cut this a little bit short, so it didn't reach all the way to the bottom, which I was fine with because that's all going to be hidden. So now I need to decide where my church is going to sit. And I'm not going to center that because I want to have room for a tree on one side. So I just um, put it all the way to one side of the box. And like I said, it protrudes some out the front. But I, I like that because it just adds to the dimension of this. As long as it doesn't stick out too much, then uh, we can camouflage that with uh, some greenery. So I just glue that on there with some um, with some hot glue. And this is why I cut my title into two separate words because uh, I wanted both of them to show behind this church. And we only have that small space there beside it. And now I'm adding one of the trees from uh, the Dollar Tree. They come in a set of three bottle trees. And this is one of the smaller ones. And I cut the base off of it uh, and just kind of attached it there to the front and side of the church. And I'm not worrying about that there on the bottom showing because, uh, again, that's just going to be hidden. Uh, so now I just need to add some greenery uh, to, um, to kind of landscape around this. Uh, but also uh, fill in the space at the bottom. So essentially, it will just be kind of sitting. The church will be kind of sitting on top of that greenery. Now, obviously, you could do this in an oversized ornament and use larger canvases. And then all of this could be back inside the canvases. But like I said, I don't mention, I mean, I don't mind that, um, that this is... Um, going to be have more of a 3d look to it also so um i guess it's a shadow box ornament that is also three di three dimensional now actually i'm going to trim out inside that so that that seam it's not going to show much but the seam on the inside of the frame is going to show somewhat so i want to trim that out with some lace and I will add that, but uh, I shouldn't have waited until I got my my uh, church and greenery inside. I should have trimmed that out to begin with. Sometimes I get busy creating something and I have an idea in my head and I get excited to get to that idea that I skip some of the essential steps. And that really would have made more sense because it it ends up being a little bit of trouble to do that after the fact. Um, and I, and I just kind of just did what showed because I wasn't able to reach down beside the church and trees, obviously. So 
It still worked out. It just would have been much easier if I had done first things first. And now I'm just going to play some music while you uh, watch me finish.
So now I'm taking just some regular white paint. You can use chalk paint here or just any kind of white paint you want to use. Um, and um, just kind of dab some, uh, some white on there to make it look like snow. And this is a good way to take some greenery that maybe is plastic and maybe not very uh, attractive um, or cheap looking and make it look a lot better. Just adding this snow alone helps. And I just like the look of the snow covered church. So I did a woodland themed ornament and I think I, I put that on a video not that long ago. And that's the other uh, ornament that we're going to be doing because my husband and I are both going to be participating in that uh, ornament exchange. So obviously the woodland themed one with the deer will be his and this one will be mine. Um, but I just love making uh, the ornaments for ornament exchanges because I think that's part of the fun is just getting um, one of a kind ornaments. And this is just an area where us as crafters, uh, I mean, why not make them instead of buying them? It's, I think it just, uh, there's a lot more meaning in it. So I felt like with all that greenery on the bottom, I needed a little something on the top. So I just put just a little sprig of greenery and some berries on each corner. And then I'll go back and add some uh, some white paint on that also and then i'll go uh in the well actually have some uh little cellophane bags clear cellophane bags that i get at walmart in the wedding uh section and um and this will fit perfectly down inside and then i can put a little bow on the top and make it uh, more presentable but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless you and your family.